happening in the cold in Ashboro right. doing my reporting. <laughs> Where there was most of the snow, right, right. in Randolph and County. <laughs> I just would never have guessed that we would have had right. this weather this weekend. Oh, it's always crazy in North Carolina. We've got <laughs> spring fever. I definitely do after today. We had temperatures that were close to 60 degrees in many communities. There is downtown Graham. A lot of folks were out moving around. Yeah, if you've got spring fever, you know, it's almost time to spring forward. Yes, we are going to go into daylight savings time in just a couple of weeks. Yes, Sunday, March the 8th. The new sunrise then will be 739 and the new sunset at 720 and spring officially begins on March 19th, which is 25 days away where our average high is about 62 and you know we were real close to that today at 60 degrees. The outlook for March, April and May is warmer than normal conditions across the eastern seaboard also combined with wetter than normal conditions and for folks that are snow lovers that means more rain than snow when you've got the warm temps. Now we do have rain in the forecast tomorrow. 80% chance lingering showers Tuesday. Also some scattered showers in the forecast on Wednesday. Our temps are kind of up and down again this week. It's pretty typical for us in February. We're 50 tomorrow. That's a little bit cooler because of the clouds and rain. We're back into the 60s Tuesday and Wednesday and then we're going to crash again with highs that are only in the 40s heading into the weekend. Our high this afternoon was 60 degrees after a very cold start at 28. Right now we are in the mid 50s, 54 in High Point in Moxville. You've got 51 in Elkin, Yakinville, 50 in North Wilkesboro. Still pretty close to 60 down to the south in Columbia and some pretty mild air even stretching out to the west. So even though we are going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow with the clouds and rain, we're not going to see the real cold air getting here until later in the week. You see where the wet weather is. It's a stretch across Tennessee, parts of Georgia as well. We're seeing at least a few clouds kind of streaking in here. By morning, we do have mostly cloudy skies, perhaps a shower. The farther west we are, we could see a little bit of a rain shower. And then during much of the morning hours, it's just overcast. We've got some showers really coming in in the afternoon. The steady rain is for tomorrow evening tomorrow night and especially overnight where we could see rainfall totals that are close to an inch. So we're talking about some moderate to heavy rain at times. Here's your 12 hour forecast for Monday starting in the upper 30s. The high temperature at 50 because we just don't warm all that much after we start to get that wet weather in here for the foothills. Temperatures in the upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. So it is kind of a chilly rain in the mountains. You may see rain moving a little bit sooner. We've got a high temperature of 45. Also a soft Monday night. We've got our front out here to the west that'll be heading to the east in our general direction. Thankfully, no real severe weather with this. Maybe a rumble or two of thunder across the deep south. Wide view here will show you all of that rain pushing in Monday night and then into early Tuesday where it is wet from the triad off to the east. Our front trying to drive in here by late Tuesday, but we should be pretty mild ahead of that front with temperatures that are in the 60s. I mentioned the rainfall. Not too much between now and tomorrow afternoon. Most of that is light or none at all, and then we really start to add Add on the rain. So that's why we've got rainfall totals at close to an inch by then. Here's our seven day forecast. Temperatures are warmest on the front end of the week, and then we are much cooler into next weekend, but we've also got dry skies.